This is Prague's Václav Havel Airport, the largest international airport in the country. Every year, with the exception of the years that shall not be named, the airport transports over 10 million passengers, with the peak year being 2019, when 17.8 million passengers passed through the airport. All those people need a way to get there. After all, the planes don't just take off from Charles Bridge, although that would be extremely funny to see. Thankfully, there are numerous ways of getting to the airport, from cars, to buses, to trolley buses, to even just walking if you so desire. In this video, we'll explore the numerous ways passengers can get to and from Prague Václav Havel Airport. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. The biggest and most developed transit method to the Prague airport is buses. The airport has two bus stops, one at each terminal. Technically, there is one more stop at Terminal 3, the private flight terminal. But let's be honest, if you're rich enough to fly private, you aren't taking the bus. You probably drive your wank panzer everywhere. Two Prague bus lines run to the airport. Line 100, from Zlitschin to the airport, and Line 191, from Naknižetsi near the center to the airport. Line 191 uses a regular sized bus, while Line 100 uses a single articulated bus. There are also multiple bus lines from the regions around Prague that stop at the airport, as well as long distance buses from Flixbus and Regiojet. There's also a special bus line, called Airport Express, which operates direct bus service between the airport and Prague main train station in the city center. Speaking of Prague main train station, to get to the departure point of the Airport Express line, you pass through this gorgeous, historical Art Nouveau station building, and then, you walk out to this. Nothing says gorgeous historical train station building more than a six-lane road put straight in front of it. Tickets for this line are also quite expensive, costing 100 Czech crowns or about 4 euros. In comparison, regular Prague public transport tickets cost 40 Czech crowns or about 1.6 euros for 90 minutes of travel. Anyways, back to the airport. While the aforementioned lines are nice, the main and highest capacity line is line 59, a trolley bus line running from Nadraží Veleslavín to the airport. This trolley bus line uses double articulated, 24 meter or 78.4 foot long trolley buses with integrated batteries for off-wire operation. This feature is important for line 59 since it runs off-wire for about 50% of its route. From the origin station to here, just beyond the Terminal 3 station, the bus is attached to overhead wires and runs off their power. After passing that point, from there, all the way to the airport, the bus runs on onboard battery power. As part of the line's infrastructure, high power charging stations were built at both terminus stations, allowing the bus to charge its battery before continuing to run on its route. However, Line 59 is a very recent addition to the transit system, with it being launched on the 6th of March 2024. Before that, Nádraží Veleslavín was connected to the airport by Line 119, a regular bus line served by single articulated buses, like the ones that currently run on Line 100. Bus service to the airport is thankfully frequent, with trolley bus Line 59 going every 3-4 minutes during rush hour and every 10 minutes in the early morning and night. Line 100 goes every 15 minutes throughout most of the day and every 20 minutes in the evening. Line 191 goes considerably less frequently as the lowest capacity line, with it going every 20 minutes at peak times and roughly every 30 to 40 minutes in the evening and night. Thankfully, these bus lines also integrate well into the rest of the public transport system. Line 59 takes passengers to a tram station, train station and a metro line station. Line 100 takes passengers to a B metro line station. And Line 191 takes passengers to a more central part of the city, from where they can connect to other buses, trams, the B metro line and trains with a decently short walk or tram ride. While buses and trolley buses are currently the only public transport links to the airport, in the future, they won't be the only ones. A train connection to the airport has been planned since the 1990s. After all, Prague still lacks a direct, high-capacity connection to the airport from the city center, disregarding the Airport Express bus line. However, due to the trials and tribulations that anyone wanting to build something in this country has to go through, and the influence of NIMBYs, the construction project has been delayed by decades. The current proposal looks like this. 
a double track electrified train line leading from Prague Masarek train station in the city center all the way to a central bohemian city named Kladno with a connection to the airport. The line is also planned to go through tunnels in certain parts of Prague. I can see why they decided to extend the line all the way to Kladno. There are a lot of commuters from Kladno to Prague for work and the railway line that connects the two cities looks like this. Not exactly ideal for a 21st century intercity railway line. So far, as of July 2024, the project is still mostly in the planning stage. The only parts that are currently done or under construction are the modernization of a necessary viaduct, the reconstruction of Prague Masaryk train station, and the modernization of two short sections of track in Prague and Kladno respectively. However, most of the project is still being planned. While transit links are the most important, in my opinion, we can't completely overlook other modes of travel. Prague Václav Havel Airport has had numerous taxi stands with drivers ready to take you anywhere in the city and beyond. However, last year, the airport partnered with Uber to provide exclusive, official taxi services to passengers. Uber has even launched a new special service just for the airport, creatively named Uber Airport. Uber Airport is a more expensive service than the traditional Uber X, with more experienced drivers who have reserved waiting spots directly at the airport. This doesn't mean that you can't call competing ride-sharing services or traditional taxi companies, but Uber gets exclusive waiting spots at taxi stands and advertising directly at the airport, giving it a massive advantage over competitors. There are multiple ways of booking an Uber at the airport. You can book it with the app, of course, but for people who can't or don't want to, there are physical kiosks all over the airport terminals, and if that doesn't work, you can ask actual people to call it for you. I have never taken an Uber from the airport. The student budget doesn't allow for that, so I can't unfortunately tell you my opinion. However, if you'd like to support and make larger scale videos which include travel possible, please support me on my Ko-Fi page, that would be much appreciated. Lastly, we can't overlook personal cars in the transport mix. The airport is served by the D7 highway, leading out of the Prague Ring Road, about which I have made a video, link is in the description. The end of the D6 highway, leading to the west of the country, is also located near the airport. It is generally easy to get to the airport by car, and there are numerous parking options directly at or near the airport. There are multiple surface parking lots, as well as multi-story parking garages directly at the airport. These are usually more expensive, but you get the convenience of having your car at the airport when you arrive. In comparison, there are massive parking lots near the airport, which offer complimentary shuttle services. These are run by independent private, for-profit companies, unlike the parking facilities at the airport, which are run by the airport itself. These companies frequently partner with tour operators, offering parking to their customers. All of these are, or will be in the case of the train, completely viable transport options to get to the airport. Choosing the one for you depends on the amount of stuff you're transporting, how quickly do you need to get there, and how much are you willing to pay for it. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to support my work, there are numerous ways you can do so in the description. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I can't express how grateful I am for the support. Enjoy the bloopers, this has been Tramley and I'll see you next time, bye! Technically, there's one more stop at Terminal 3, the private flight terminal, but let's be honest, if you're rich enough to fly private, you aren't taking the bus, you're probably dr- Before that, Nadrzy Vleslavin was connected to the airport by line 119, a regular bus line served by single articulated buses, like the one that currently- ah. <laughs> However, Due to the trials and tribulations that anyone wanting to build something in this country has to go through, and the influence of NIMBYs, the construction project has been de- Bro, ah.